Warning. The following program may contain foul fucking language, gory ass shit, or the occasional slow point because I can be a lazy fuck with editing. Viewer discretion is potentially advised, but also probably rejected. Greetings from the land of OP! I am Rob the OP Gamer, and I am bringing you episode number 7 of attempt number 2 of my Ultra Hardcore series. Aw, yeah. Where I am going to try to be downing every single boss in Ultra Hardcore. Hardcore being bad enough, but Ultra meaning I don't regen health from being full on hunger. Sweet. Because I'm insane. So, I have a giant hole in my roof. Aww! And I am melting down some more Aluma Brass because I ran out. Um, the th what I'm doing is I'm setting up my Thom Lab here so that I have an extendable roof. You can see that I've got some drawbridges going on here. Preloaded some of them with glowstone glass because that's what I'm making my roof out of. I eventually want to change all of my roofs to glowstone glass because they glow like torches. But I'm doing this one first because this, this drawbridge thing is going to be basically set up so that I can retract my ceiling to let out flux. And by flux, I mean shit that goes bad during um, infusion crafting or with crucible recipes. Because I don't want to have to clean that shit up every time. I want to flick a lever and have it do its thing. So I am making up a few more of these because I need a few more of these. And what's going to happen is I've gotten a few things ready to go for today because I really want to get some stuff going on here. You can see that I've put my wall of water jars like I said last episode I was going to do and I've gotten some more research going on so I'm ready to go. I upgraded my wand. I actually made two of these bad boys and filled them up because I like to have two wands going on. Uh, one on the table and one to carry with me. So that's how I like to roll with that. And how much more do I have in here? Uh, two ingots. Doot, doot. There we go. So I'm going to grab five of these guys and uh, the reason why is because we're making drawbridges. I thought I would do most of them off camera, but I wanted to have a few of them ready on camera just to show you guys how to do this. So you're going to go with redstone and dispensers and uh, blank casts, which you just saw me do, and put those guys like that. Maybe I flip these around something. Hang on, how I are, how I are drawbridge. Drawbridge. Yes. Um, bronze, bronze, bronze. Aluma brass ingots. Whoopsie. Okay, so it's not those. And is it... Okay, so the blank cast is on the top. So let me grab some Aluma Brass ingots. Did I actually make any ingots? No! Okay, so I'm going to need five of these, so I'm just going to remelt these guys down really quick. Not a big deal. Uh, we're just going to take these and put these back. And then instead of pouring them straight into the table, we'll just pour them into the molds there. I made a bunch of them and then went and did other stuff, so I forgot exactly how to do it between those times. So we'll put those away. And I'm going to get some uh, this going on and some iron. However many iron. Oh, shit. I'm using that. Ha! <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I need nine of those. So I'm going to need two more of these guys. Because this right here is my golem. It doesn't look, like, doesn't look like a golem yet, does it? It will. And I went and made a fishing rod just to get one fish. Because, God damn it, I needed a fish for my boots. We are making boots here in a few minutes, guys. That is a thing that's going to be happening in a second. I'm getting ready to armor, because I need armor, like yesterday. Um, I want to be able to go out in the world and not fear for my life constantly. And I needed... Wait. Shit. I need ten of those, don't I? Yes, I do. Oh, sour. Um, hmm... I guess I'll melt up some more copper and aluminum really quick here. Uh, one copper will do us good. And aluminum. I always forget where things are. Despite the fact that I have it clearly mapped out with labels. <laughs> there we go. That will get us what we're after. So, um, golem. Oh, wait. Redstone. I can do that really quick, actually. I got a thing of redstone and some iron. I'm going to take these guys off of here for just a second. And I am going to show you guys how you are. Do this. Boink. Red iron compound. I probably need one more, actually, because that'll drive me nuts. Like that. And let's get eight of these. 
eight. And this is from Project Red. This is wiring from Project Red. So we'll get nine of those guys, and we will cook the shit out of them. Nice! And I'm wasting fuel again. Nerd Rage! Bam! Three of those just in a line. Gonna get us wire. We're actually probably gonna need more than that. Shit. Um, I'm making 15 of these drawbridges. I have 10 up already. Uh, 15. So we're gonna have to go across the top, and then down, and then underneath. So it's gonna be 15, and we're gonna go to right here. So I need one, two... Is that water? No. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and then fifteen. That'll be enough. Okay, so how's my my Aluma brasses? Yes, Aluma brasses. If my camera's twitching a bit, it's because my mouse is dying. Uh, I'll fix it between episodes. <laughs> It needs more battery power. It's a wireless mouse. Sorry. Okay. Uh, five of these. Or five more of these, I should say. And if we get over here, and we hit R and shift click. Nice! There we go. And we'll pop OP bat mode. Nice. OP bat mode. So I went back to the nether again, and I got me some glowstone to make glowstone glass. It's the same as the thickened glass that my roof is made out of, but with four glowstone around it. So that's all that is. And all we're doing is like this, guys. We just loaded up with 16. Uh, yep. Doop. 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 Uh, da doop. Just like that. And if that looks ugly because the rest of it's basalt, we can do this. We can go doink, and it hides him as if he was basalt. Doink. You can see it disappear underneath the camera. Like, like if I kind of... Yeah, so watch right here, and we go doink, and it looks like brick. Isn't that delicious? Yes, it is. So, this way we can hide these drawbridges. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, magnet. Um, we can hide these drawbridges to make it look as if it's just part of the wall. Which is really, really kick ass. Nice. So, we get all these set up, and what they'll do is these drawbridges will, when they get a, when they receive a redstone signal, they will close the ceiling. And by close the ceiling, I mean they'll extend all these glowstone all the way across so it, so it closes the ceiling off. And that way, when I get a shit ton of uh, badness in here from, like, doing my crafting and stuff, I can just flick the lever and it'll open the ceiling. But I also need to make a NOR gate. So let me find that really quick to show you guys how to do that. N-O-R. NOR gate. Two uh, circuit plates. Conductive plates, which is one of those guys in a redstone. A anode, which is... You get three of those guys with one recipe. And a cathode. So we're going to cook up some stone because that's how you get those. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, let's see, let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8. And I need 9 of them, so I need to make an extra, so that's cool. So we'll just snag those out of there and put them right back in. At least this time I'm not wasting too much fuel. And we're going to get some redstone, like so. And we are going to get the uh, cathode, is just a redstone torch. So we're going to do one of those, and one of those, and we'll give that one of those, like that. And we're going to go whoop, and we're going to go whoop. And then we're going to have one of those. And then we're going to go, uh, wait, one, two, three of those. One, two, three of those. Doink. And then we can do shift click. Whoop. Oh, shit, what I miss? I need four plates. Three, six. That should have been. Wow, how did I do that? All right. All right. It's cool. So I'm going to use a couple of sticks. because that way I don't waste the whole coal. Not like I'm not rolling in coal anyway from my quarry. <laughs> now we should be able to... Nice. Okay, so this Norgate is pretty awesome. Uh, we'll stick those in there because they're extra. Did I have those extra ones in those already? No. Okay, so this is pretty awesome. What this is going to do for us is uh, Norgates will always output a signal unless they receive a signal. So they're always on, unless they receive a signal. So I'm going to put this guy... Oh, shit. I wonder if you can... Actually, we'll never see him anyway, so we might as well just put him right in the wall. Boink. Oh. Do I have my screwdriver on me? No. Shit. Let me find my screwdriver really quick. I know I have one. 
I should have one. If I don't have one, I should. I don't have a screwdriver. Fuck me. Okay. One, two, three. And then we're going to grab two lapis. One, two. And that's going to be our screwdriver. Doink, doink. And doink, doink, doink. Nice. And then this guy will allow us to right click and it's in about night time. So I should probably sleep this night away. Sleeping the night away. Is that actually a real song? Oh, come on. I don't know if that's actually a real song. There we go. So back in OP bat mode. All right. Um, did I forget something? I feel like I forgot something. Uh, okay, so we're gonna rotate this guy. Just right click with your wrench, right click, and you can see that this guy's pointing up. He's always sending a signal out unless he gets one. So what we're gonna do is not put him there. What I'm gonna do, actually, let's run the wire first. If we do this and this, and is that all the way over one? That should be all the way over one. Do 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 old shift and you click down right click hold shift and right click it'll place it on top of him and then if we stick let's go down one more god that's annoying I hate that so bad it's part of the meteor mod it's the shield up top there keeping me from getting blasted by meteor my friend and server admin Xavier McMay just promised that mod is going away and I'm going to hold him to that most vigorously most vigorously okay so this guy I'm going to dig this down, too, because I need to be able to see where I'm going here. Um, we want to go underneath, so here we go. I guess I could have just gone down to dirt. That would have probably been easier. Uh, so all the way over here, and we are going to put... I want to put the lever right here. So I should probably leave that in place, and we'll put that right there. And then we're going to go like... Um, shit. I need to slice up some of this brick really quick. That's what I need to do. Ah, uh, but up, bum 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 brick. Saw. Nice. So you take your saw, and you take a crafting table, and you go like that, and you get two of those, you go like that, you get four of those, and you hold shift click and you get eight. Saw. Bam! And you can do it just in your normal crafting inventory. And the reason we're doing this is so we can cover this up so the water can't flow from our aqueous that's providing water to our seared bricks. Or to our... Crucible. It says here brick because I'm in OP bat mode. The reason why I'm not just putting the wire underneath like this is because I've got that aqueous down there. You can kind of see it down there. And um, but that would make it really awkward to get the wire underneath there. So I'm just going to go down and around. So that should probably be the easiest way to do that, in my opinion. And in as we all know, in my hardcore series, my opinion is the only one that counts. So that's awkward. Hmm. You can't place this against that, can you? No. Okay, so I'm going to make a standing thing really quick. Uh, you make a standing wire like so. You take one of your wires and you take a oaken plank. I actually have tons of planks. Where are all... Actually, I think I made a barrel for them because I was getting so many. Every time that... Uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah. Every single time uh, the quarry hits a abandoned mine shaft, I get a bunch of oak wood. Because, you know, that's how it works. And we're going to saw this guy up. And we're going to go two. And then we're going to go four. And then we're going to shift click and get eight. And then we're going to go from the side. And that's going to give us two, four, six, eight. Nice. And then we are going to put one of these wires in the center and surround it by strips. Oh, shit. There we go. And we're going to surround it by strips. And we get a framed alloy wire. And we're going to need two of those, actually. So I should probably saw up the rest of this. Boink. There we go. And we'll do another one, and circle it there, and there we go. And what these guys do is they can stand on their own. They will still stick right there with the cover, but they will stand up right. They don't need to be attached to anything. But they can't attach themselves to anything unless there's a wire there. So you can see how he connected the side wire there. If I pop him out, look, he's not connecting to anything now. So if I take him up top, and I set him down onto one of these guys without a wire, look, nothing happens. He's not actually connecting to this drawbridge right here because there's no wire there. But if we put a wire down, we can go like that, and now he connects. You can see that the wire goes down underneath. So you have those freestanding ones are really nice because you don't have to um, 
place them against stuff so much, but you do have to have the wire there to connect, which is what we're doing here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and we're going to get OP Batmo down here, and we're going to just drag this all the way across. Actually, I'm going to do the other side, in case I dig this out later for some reason. There we go. All the way across. And I'm going to get... Uh, this don't need this right now. Uh, okay. How do I want to do this? I'll just cover it up. Okay, so there we go. And then we can come up here and up here. Nice. And we're going to come all the way up. Hello? Oh, I ran out of wire. Shoot! Damn it. Fuck. I thought that was going to be enough. Sour. Uh, let's get over here. We'll just make another one really quick. It'll just be really fast. One. And one. Actually, we need three. I need to make more iron, probably. And how do I have so much redstone left over? Did I just not use all of it? Okay. Oh, I need to cut these. Wasting more fuel, guys! Oh, nerd rage! Nice. Okay. So we'll do that. There we go. How did I do that? <laughs> okay. So what's going to happen is, the idea is this is going to be a repeating thing for us. So as soon as I connect this wire, you see how signal's going out? Uh, if I put a lever, do I actually have a lever on me? Yeah, I do. Okay, cool. So if I put a lever right here, you can see that this is going to flick that wire and turn everything on, which is going to then turn this guy off. Does that make sense? So we connect that, nothing happens. Actually, that was a lot of wasted effort for no reason. Oh, wait, no, it's not. Ha! Huh? Okay, cool, so we literally click that. Boom, 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 boom. Nice. Oh, shoot. I need more glowstone glass. Motherfucker. What happened to all the thickened glass I did right here? Did I... What? How... Why? That's... Oh, my God. Oh, so much fail right now. I cannot even believe the... Oh, there's... Wait, there's... There's one still in it. I did put enough clip. Does this... Maybe I needed the advanced bridge. Oh, that's not hard to upgrade those guys. One... One aluminum brass, one advanced brass, and two redstone. I think it's the advanced one. Let me grab one of these guys. That looks so awesome. I don't even give a fuck. That doesn't quite work right. Um, the idea is that I can, when the flux happens, that I can just release it into the atmosphere and then close it again. So I can just close the whole fucking ceiling. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to use these covers to cover up the wiring on the glass so that it looks nice. So we're going to do that, and 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 we're going to do that. And then we're going to put one there and one there, and then we're going to cut up another brick. Because of, No, actually, we're not going to cut up another brick. You know why? Because I made other covers before. Here's a good thing to show off. I'll put those away. Don't need those for the moment. Um, I made some hollow covers, which you make the hollow covers by making a circle in the crafting grid of regular covers that I just used. But if you make too many circles, you get eight of them, you can just turn them back into a normal one. So I'm going to just do that. Doink! Oh, you know what? I need to cut one up anyway because I need four more to cover that. So let's do that. Do I have... I don't have four. No, I have two of those. Fine, I'll cut another one up. Shoot! Actually, I'll just show off that circle thing really quick to you guys, too. It's pretty neat. The circle is so that you can uh, let pipes and shit go through it. But still look nice to, like, the back of chest. So that's how you make the circle one. And then you can be like that and be like, Oh, shit, I only need four of those. And then you turn back into regular covers. It's really nice. Forge micro parts, bitches! Alright, one there, one there. One there, and one there. Nice. And now it looks like a uniform wall. And up here... Well, monsters can actually fall through that. I wonder if you can do something like the cover. I'm going to make another... I'm going to make another freestanding wire, I think, is what I'm going to do. So let me cut up another one of these strips really quick. Actually, I'm going to make three of them. Uh, that should do it. I'm going to cut up some more strips, I'm going to make some more freestandings and see if I can make a circle hollow cover to put that through so monsters can't slide down that wall piece there. And I'm going to figure out what's up with this advanced drawbridge thing, I'll be back. Alright guys, I made an advanced, one singular advanced drawbridge, and the only difference here is that it's got an inventory slot, and you can tell it what to put in up to 16 blocks. And where did I get that extra one? Did I take it out of here? 
No? I tried to adjust this too, but it didn't work. Um, oh, graphic glitch, I guess. So the only difference is that you can tell it like, hey, um, instead of doing straight glowstone, you could alternate blocks. You could be like, okay, first put a glowstone, then put an oak wood. Like you could do that, and you could do that. And then you could say, and then put uh, a cobblestone, or another glowstone, and then maybe put a cobblestone. And the only difference is going to be that you can intersperse what gets placed. So there's an oak, there's a cobblestone that kind of thing. You can tell it what to place where, but it still doesn't go all the way to the end, even with 16 in there. Um, so I'm not really sure what the hell the deal is with that. So what I'm going to be doing here, um, I did figure out that... We'll take that, we'll take that, we'll put this back. I did also figure out if I take one of these out of the end here, and then I click the button, he still goes out 15. See that? Look at that. I'm not sure why it does that exactly, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go take out the extra one of every single one and then just place it there. That way, when it withdraws, that'll still be there at least. So we're going to come through here, and the only reason this isn't doing the entire thing was so that I could get through there. Also, I put these freestanding ones up here to put a little cover so that zombies can't fall on the wall, because I would hate that. That would drive me insane so fast. So I'm going to come through here. I'm going to just pull one out of each of these just really fast here, and then we're going to make a golem, and then we're going to wrap up the episode, because this entire episode has been about the fucking top of my roof. So this may be a three-parter for Thomcraft. Thomcraft part one... Um, and then part two, messing with insides, and then part three, more Thomcraft. There we go. And that should be enough to come through here and just kind of... Nice. And then as soon as I flip this button, this should cover the entire... There we go, now it's uniform. Ah! Sweet. So I just guess I just build too big. It's too big! She can't handle it! Okay, so now we're gonna make a golem. Uh, we need, we're gonna make a thomium golem, because I make all of my golems out of thomium, because I think bigger is always better. Always. It is always size always matters, so I got research down here. I haven't researched every golem thing yet. I haven't done the uh, use core, because I don't have anything to use for it. But I got my decanting golem ready. I have to make his core. I need a mortar jar and some bottled water, which won't be hard to do. And then uh, we're going to make the thomium golem. And then I've advanced, I've researched the upgrades, which I'll make at some point, but I haven't done advanced golems yet. So we're going to do that. So first comes the golem and the core. So to make the core, need those. And when I, I made a full stack of those and ended up putting 60 of them, so I have an extra one here. And here's the armor stuff. I got my armor stuff ready to go. Salus Mundus, by the way, I was totally not figured out how to do that before. Uh, trying to figure out exactly how to go about making that. You need. Um, either four mana beans or two ethereal essences and any kind of shard. It's just three things. Luckily, my uh, quarry, as he's digging through the ground up there, he's been smashing nodes. So I've got plenty of essences. Uh, so I just made some Salus Mundus. Used two of Marty for my wand cores. Um, and then what we're going to do is... We need bottled water, so let's get some glass. Do I have just regular glass? Regular ass, regular glass sitting around? No! Of course not. So I'm going to cook up some regular ass, regular glass really quick. I'm going to make 16 of these so I don't waste fuel. Doink. And we just need three of them. And we're going to make some bottles. There's the bottles. And we need the bottled water. So we're going to come over here to my hidden. Doink, doink, doink. Nice. And then we're going to grab a core. It was that. And the jar. And there's a core to it, which is going to be um, clay. I think it's clay. Let's check the actual core really quick here. Stupid mouse. Okay, so around a animation core. Um, so you need aqueous, aqueous and vacuous. Five aqueous and five vacuous to get the decanting core. That's it. Okay, interesting. Uh, blank core is going to be made out of one nitor and four brick. I used up my nitor, even the one that was up there. Because it's going to be going into my armor, so I guess I need to make some more nitor really quick. So let's just, get, let's just get some glowstone. Glowstone is so easy to get in the nether now that we can fly. Oh my god, OP bat mode is OP. Uh, we need to cook up our bricks, so now I'm going to waste some more. <laughs> Nerd rage! Okay, I'm going to stick this glass away for the time being. Um, nitor. Uh, two, four, six. Yes? Yes. And torches. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nice. And then we're going to get over here. We're just going to do one of these guys. Uh, 
three of these, six of these, two of these, and I tore. Bam. And then I can just hang on to the extra one, because whatever. And then we're going to put this guy in the center of the table, and we're going to surround him with bricks, and that's going to give us our blank core. And then we're going to take the blank core, because we need a decanting one first, and that's five aqueous and five vacuous. Um, vacuous can be gotten on a bucket. Um, and a chest. And I've got tons of wood. I've got tons of wood, because my... Yeah, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight... Now let's make a chest really quick and see how much vacuous is on a chest. Because we need five of it for this guy. So let's make a chest. Four vacuous figures. We'll have extra. So we'll just make two chests. That'll be fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't even give a fuck. I have a ceiling for this. Okay. There we go. There's two chests. That'll be our that'll be our vacuous, and we need aqueous, which I usually just go for water shard, because whatever. Uh, two vacuous, two, three. We'll just need three. That'll be good. And then we just get over here, and we are going to toss in all the essences and waste a ton of them. Ready? Ready for all the waste? Three. And we can see all the shit we have in there. Why does it have question marks? I know all those essences. Oh, maybe just... I don't know, it's weird. There's my decanting core. I didn't get shit in the atmosphere. Oh, it's... Oh, it's still in the... Okay, so that's the that's the essences we didn't get. So what I'm going to do, in order to get rid of those essences, they will burn off on their own gradually, eventually, but I want to use it right now. So I'm going to open my ceiling. <laughs> so awesome. Shift, right click, and away it goes. Uh, away it goes. No? Fine, be that way. Make me open my ceiling for no reason! Let's we'll do that. I thought that gas was supposed to float. Sometimes it floats, I guess. So when it floats, we can open the ceiling. Uh, so now we have a decanting core, and all we gotta do is shit, like, put one there, and one of those there, and we'll just put our bottles of water around the sides, and that should give us... Shit. Is that the wrong kind of bottle water? Water bottle, water bottle, water bottle, warded jar, decanting core. Oh, it's an infusion recipe! Ha! 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 Nice. So you guys get to see infusing on camera for once. That is awesome. So the infusion thing, the first, the thing that you're infusing goes in the center. You right-click him onto the pedestal there, and it's getting nighttime, but whatever. So, water jar right there. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and sleep through the night, because I don't want to have zombies running around. They will murk me as soon as I step out of my base when that happens. I don't have armor yet, so... We're working on it! That's happening right now. So we're going to... This is an infusion recipe. How much is the uh, minor? Minor instability, so nothing bad's gonna happen, probably. So we'll go around the corners here. One right there, and one right here, and one right here. There we go. So we got one, we got them all like that, and we right click this guy. Oh, shit! No, 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 no! Stop, stop, stop! Ow! 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 Terrible. That is so bad, I can't even tell you. Okay, so... I totally didn't even stop to think that I needed uh, this stuff. So we need 15 Aqueous, 15 Modus, and 15 Percantio. Shit! Okay, so... <laughs> Fucking mouse. I just punched it. So 15 Aqueous. I'm just gonna get off the shards again. 1, 2, 3... How many's in here? 2... 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. Eight of those guys. Uh, magic, Percantio. There's Percantio on that too, so we're going to get... Oh, you know what? We just might as well do two of these then. Double that recipe. Um, shit. That way we can get the Magic and the Aqueous off that at the same time. We'll get some extra Vitreous, but it's not really that big a deal. And what was the other thing? I don't even remember. Uh, Modus, which is on rubber and trap doors. I know for a fact. Oh, look, see? Modus. Uh, we need eight... We need eight of those guys, or... Shit. Fifteen. Fifteen Modus, so I need fifteen trapdoors. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, this is so bad. Okay. So... You know what? Let's make the golem first, because... The golem's just a crucible recipe. We'll do the, uh... Do the big stuff in a second here. Uh, so what's going to be, we need, first we need Thaumium. So what Iron Ingots, we're going to throw in Earth Shards. Because to get the to get the Golem, you need, let me just show the Golem really quick. 
This is so bad. I don't do this very often. I'm just running around with my chicken with my head cut off. Um, so you throw a block, a thomium block into the crucible for the catalyst with these things in it. Five human, er, eight humanus, eight modus, and eight spiritus. And the thomium block is just like any other block recipe. So we need nine thomium ingots first. And so we need the percantio off this. So I'm just going to throw them in there. Because whatever. Oh, shit! Oh my god. Oh, that was so bad in so many ways. Holy god. What has magic done? Or more accurately, what have what has dumbass done? Okay, so that was a bad time. Um I need a better source of magic then. Cuz all you need is Maybe I should just do them one at a time. How about that? <laughs> so I need the magic off of it, is what is all I need. And shards are generally my favorite source of magic, especially because I have so many of them. So let me get some more shards out of here. Um, so instead of throwing all 30 fucking six at a time... Don't do that, by the way. That's why you don't do that. Uh, let's just do, like... Let's do these in quarters, huh? Uh, one, two, one, two... Let's, we can do three at a time. Yeah, let's do three at a time. That'll probably be a little not as terrible. Probably. Oh, so much better. Nice! So there's that. And then we can just dump this. It'll boil off on its own eventually. There's gas! That's why I have the roof! See? I had a reason to have a roof! I knew there was a reason. I just heard a zombie. I hate when I hear zombies from nowhere. Fuckers. Okay, so three more. Nice. Shift click. Oh, this time it didn't be gas. Why didn't it be gas this time? It was gas last time. That's weird. I guess I should do this. Uh, water? Hero? There we go. Thank you. Uh, more shards and there. Doink. And again, it's not. Weird. Okay, so now we make a thomium block. Because we have nine of these now. There we go. And now that's going to be our catalyst for all this stuff. So we got to throw all this in at once. Ha 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 ha. Eight. Eight. Oh my god, so much shit in there. Block. Nice, thomium golem. Oh, I love thomium golems. There's a ton of extra shit. Let's hope we get gas. No? Fine. Be that way. See if I care. Oh my god, so dangerous. Okay, so now we have a golem, and we have not quite the right core, because we still have to do the infusion crafting for that. Uh, to do that, we are going to burn this up in here. Burn, burn. Burn, baby, burn. So all the uh, aspects on that, there's three aspects in this, and I have three Olympics, so that's how that's going to work out. This coal is going to be cooking these up, and the aspects are getting stored in these Olympics. So, in order to get the Olympics out, or to get the aspects out of there, the golem's going to be doing that for us in a minute here. But for the time being, I need a few files. Uh, magic files, I'll just show you guys. It's just a crafting recipe. Uh, yeah. Just like that. Simple. All we need is some glass and a piece of clay. So, I've got plenty of clay here. We'll just grab a clay. And... I still have trap doors. I need to make up a few of those, don't I? Because we don't just need the magic, we also need the trap doors. So, let's do this. Um, we need 16 modus, which means we need 16 trap doors. So I need 8 recipes. We'll do that. There. In your face! Okay. So I'm going to put the rest of this wood away. Because I don't need the wood on me for the time being. And we're going to make those files. I've still got some glass that I cooked up a little while ago. We are getting so close on time here, it's not even funny. Doink. Files. It's just a regular ass, regular crafting recipe. Probably have to make some more of those in a second here. But after these are all cooked up, which it looks like they're done now. Yep, they're done. So 32, 16, 16. Each of these files hold 8. So there's 8, 16. 
Oh wow, yeah, I'm definitely need to make more. And then we can just right click these on these jars here. That's how that's gonna work out. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four. So now we have 32 in there. And I can see that because I'm wearing my goggles. Oh. And then we're going to go one, two, and one, two. That's gonna get those out of there. Uh, one, two, and one, two. That's gonna give us enough magic out of those jars. And now we're gonna cook up the trap doors, which only have a few essences each. I guess I can't just click that in there for some reason. That's a little strange. Okay, so we're gonna end up with um, 16 trap doors, 32 arbor, and 16 modus. Uh, so we're gonna use all four of these files. Did I make two recipes? Where did I? I didn't think I made two recipes. That's a little weird. I don't even know. Okay. I don't know what happened there. That's strange. I guess I don't need to make files for this then. So we're going to put these back on the crafting recipe like we did a second ago. Just right click them onto the things there. And as these guys cook up, this essence still has to make its way up into the... Oh, that's done. So that's just working on the arbor then. So we can get that out of there. Uh, one, two. And one, two. There's the modus. The arbor is still filling up. Come on, you bastard! There's a faster way to do this that we'll get into someday. Someday, over the rainbow, I pressed caps lock on accident. Okay, so there's that, and we can do this. One, two, three. It keeps refilling it. Did you see that? I had eight again. What the hell? Look, I have eight again! What the shit is going on? That's got to be a glitch or a bug or something. I'm putting these away before I get in trouble with myself here. I have no idea what's going on there. It, uh, you know what? I'm going to do this. I don't know why that bug was happening, but I shouldn't have those. So I'm going to do that. And just for the sake of being... I mean, it's not like I don't have the resources to spare anyway. Because of this nice quarry going on here. But I'm just going to go ahead and throw out... Um, there, destroy those. Do you see how I destroyed them? Because this is NEI and it just destroys them when you... That's... that's the, You click it in there and it deletes it. So I'm going to delete those just for the sake of having spent those resources because I don't know why that was happening. So now that we've actually got the fucking essences, this is how infusion crafting works. So we're making the decanting thing, right? Um, which is up here. And it says you put this in the center and you put these around the sides. You have to have these in jars nearby for the magic to happen. So now that we've actually got the magic in by, now we can right-click this guy with our wand and shit will go nice. So now it can get its magic out of there. What blew up? Something blew up. I have no idea what blew up. But it's still working. All the things are still on their podiums. Pedestals. So I guess we're okay for the time being. That's weird that something blew up. And nighttime is falling. So now it's going to take the jar. And now it's going to take the water bottles one at a time. Took that one over there first. I don't know if you saw that or not. Now that one, and then that one, and we'll get a little lightning strike. Bzzz. Sweet! Call them animation gore! Alchemy. Nice. Now we can close our roof, because we don't want zombies getting in here. And I'm going to go to bed, because it's nighttime. Now we can do this. What we're going to do is we can right-click this guy onto here. And we can right-click him with this with this guy, and bam, now he's an alchemy golem. Wow, he started with half health. That's weird. What's up with that, Wayla? Anyway, he's ready to go. He's like, hey, what's up? I'm an alchemy golem. So what he's going to do now is when we melt up stuff, he is going to instantly go ahead and put it in the jar for us. But I need to tell him where his jars are. So we take our bell here, which, by the way, is not hard to make at all. It just takes a little bit of essentia. You take, uh... Yeah. So you take, uh, four... Neither, uh, four neither quartz, which I've got plenty of, and a stick. And five ordo from your wand, and that's it. It's just a arcane workbench recipe. You can right-click him, and you can see he's on there. And then we right-click here, and he knows that he can use that jar. But he also knows that he can use any jar adjacent to any jar he can use. So because this jar is next door, he knows he can use that one. And because that jar is next to that jar, which he's clicked on, he can use all these. So now he can reach every single one of these walls. That's all you got to do in order to command your golems. And I'm going to throw that on the ground. I'm trying to put it in my dam. There we go. So he's good to go. He is all set. And what's going to happen is, um, anytime I melt something up, like let me just melt up, um, 
We'll just melt up some rock, some cobblestone, whatever, it doesn't matter. It'll melt that up, and it will slowly work its way into the Olympics. See that? Look at that. He put he put some sack he put some Perdito in there. And he put some Saxon right there. And he's just emptying that out as it comes. And he's going to manage this for us. So we don't have to make those files ever again. Yay, Golem! I love Golems. Holy fuck, I love Golems. As a matter of fact, to end this episode, I'm going to show you guys me standing next to my Golem. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It ran a little bit long, but we got Golems going. I'm going to make armor next episode. I'm going to jump straight into it. We're going to pick up right I'm going to end this episode and start a new one. Like, favorite, follow, subscribe. YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, and Twitter. Slash Rob the OP Gamer. Peace!